Hello everyone. Today we will discuss spherocylindrical refraction. As the name indicates, uh, here we will use both spherical lenses as well as cylindrical lenses. Cylindrical lenses are used to correct astigmatism, and uh, spherical lenses are used to correct myopia, hypermetropia, and presbyopia. The first type of refraction that we discussed previously was BVS refraction, in which we use only spherical lenses. to correct myopia and hypermetropia and also presbyopia uh, in some cases you will observe that with the best vein sphere uh, the desired visual acuity is not obtained which is 6 by 6 with the best vein sphere the visual acuity will be uh, maybe 6 by 12 6 by 18 or something else like that so that uh, will give you an indication that the patient may have astigmatism and you have to use cylindrical lenses to correct it so uh, basically you are converting bvs refraction into spherocylindrical refraction the next thing is the parts of spherocylindrical refraction there are essentially three parts of this type of refraction the number one part is you have to find whether there is any astigmatism present or not and if you find out that there is an astigmatism present then then you have to find the correct axis of the cylindrical lens and also the correct power of the cylindrical lens in spherical lenses we have seen that we are only concerned with the power there are no axis involved but in cylindrical lenses axis are present and you have to find axis before finding out the power of cylindrical lens and you can do this with jcc jackson cross lenser it is the best tool to perform this type of refraction i will not discuss uh, the procedure of jcc here i will make a separate video on jcc and then uh, in the last a very important concept the importance of spherical equivalent whenever you will add cylindrical lenses during subjective refraction you have to change your bvs accordingly and you are doing this to control the patient's accommodation let's take an example you have done bvs refraction and uh, the best vein sphere was plus 2 let's suppose and uh, with plus 2 the vision was um, 6 by 12 there was no further improvement you have then added cylindrical lenses let's say minus 0.5 cylinder by using uh, jackson cross lenser so when you add this minus 0.50 cylinder you will change this spherical correction also how will you change you will take half of the cell half of cell with opposite sign so half of minus 0.50 is 0.25 and uh, here it is minus so you will consider plus so you will add plus 0.25 into plus 2 and uh, your number will become plus 2.25 with minus 0.50 cylinder so this is how you change spherical number when you add cylinder and you are doing this to control patient's accommodation this is a very important concept and um, i feel every optometrist should know that uh, and when performing subjective refraction you have to follow this rule and when you do that you can see here that if i uh, take the spherical equivalent of this prescription this again come out to be plus 2 so you have to maintain spherical equivalent while performing spherocylindrical refraction this was just a brief overview of how you will perform this type of refraction and uh, we will discuss jackson cross lenser in our next video Thank you.